All right, time to take a look at the Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw. Okay. So you got a battery, it's a 20 volt, 1.5 amp. We got a click style connection. It has two contacts and we've got our charging port right there on the top. We got our charger. And it says this is 100 to 240 volts. That's so good for international or domestic. And it charges at 0.75 amps at 21 volts. That's cool. So you can see our two contacts in the bottom for the battery. We do have a nice rubberized grip on here, so that's nice. Most mini electric chainsaws do not have that, so that's cool. We also have a safety lock, so if I try to press the button, it won't happen. If I press that in with my thumb, then I can pull the trigger. It does come with a chain attached, and we have a guard on the top. Another thing that most of these don't have is this guard right here on the bottom, so we don't have to worry about anything coming and scratching our knuckles. We also have a stop right here, which is very good. So most of the time when people start using these things, if they don't know what they're doing, they'll try to cut somewhere around here. What you really want to do is put the here at the bottom and then just pull the chainsaw down on that that way it's not going to try to jerk itself out of your hand so i'm glad that they put that on there we got instructions with a wrench we also have a screwdriver and we have some oil so the screwdriver is going to adjust the tension right there so if the chain wasn't tight enough right here this is definitely perfectly fine loosen that up so lefty loosey we can see we get a little bit more slop in the chain now. Although this is still fairly good. You basically want to have this tight enough to where it's not going to fall off the bar, but you want to have it loose enough that it's not going to be creating a lot of friction. So right here is pretty darn good. And the wrench is for this nut. So if you ever need to replace the chain, all you would do is take that cover off and you can pull this bar out. You can see that little pin right there. And that pin lines up with that screw. So as you're moving that screw, you're actually sliding this bar up and down. That's what's creating the tension on the chain. So you just pop the bar off. You can replace the chain, drop it right back over the sprocket, and then put the cover back on. So there's really not a lot to it. The biggest thing is just making sure the chain is going the correct direction. Okay. Cool. Now, if you want this to last, the biggest point of friction is going to be where the chain runs on the bar. So that's what the oil is for. What you want to do is put a few drops on the chain. I'm putting way too much, but keep that thing lubricated and it will last you a long time. And as you can see, we got plenty of oil left over. So this will last a long time as well. Cool. Cut that no problem. So yeah, overall, that's a very nice little saw.